everybody, this is Ramon El Magnifico and welcome to episode 17, that's right, as it says right there, episode 17 of the Famous Pie Smoker Friday show and it's going to be a short one this week, Woo <laughs> sorry I know I've been getting crazy with, with the bios but I've been finding some very interesting people and uh, it fascinates me, I didn't realize how fascinated I was going to get. I mean, I've been enjoying doing the posts on Instagram for the past three years, and I think it's been the last year and a half, I think, where I actually started putting a little bit of a bio in, in people's careers and stuff. So that's why I got the idea of, of this show. But today, <clears throat> the person we're, we're remembering today, I was not able to find an extensive biography, so it's going to be a short one. Anyways, on this episode of the Famous Pipe Smoker Friday Show, we remember British character actor Lionel Jeffries. Jeffries was born in London on June 10th, 1926. Both his parents were social workers with the Salvation Army. Jeffries trained at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. He entered repertory at the David Garrick Theatre in Lingfield, Staffordshire, for two years, and appeared in early British television plays. Jeffries built a successful career in British films, mainly in, in comic character roles, <clears throat> with his bald head, firm jawline, and bristling moustache. <laughs> Lionel Jeffries played an, uh, a nice line of English eccentrics. More often, he played characters older than himself, such as Grandpa Potts, which probably a lot of people remember him from. In the film Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, little side note, that book was written by the same guy who wrote the James Bond novels, Ian Fleming. Okay, although Jeffries was actually six months young, younger than the star Dick Van Dyke, who played his son in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. <clears throat> Jeffries' acting career reached a peak in the 1960s with leading roles in other films like Two Way Stretch, which came out in 1960, The Trials of Oscar Wilde, also in 1960. Murder Ahoy, opposite Margaret Rutherford, and First Men in the Moon, which came out in 1964, and Camelot, which came out in 1967. Jeffrey's turn to writing and directing children's films, including a well-regarded version of A Railway Children in 1970, and The Amazing Mr. Blunden uh, in 1972. He was a member of the British Catholic Stage Guild. Jeffries retired from acting in 2001 <clears throat> as his health declined in the following years. And he died on February 19th, 2010. Uh, another little factoid that I uh, discovered was writing this, but I couldn't fit it anywhere, was that he also served uh, during World War II. <clears throat> um, so yeah, there you have it. Uh, that's a little bit about Lionel Jeffries. Like I said, many people um, my age or older uh, probably remember him from uh, the movie Chitty Chitty, Chitty Bang Bang. Uh, <laughs> uh, and again, my thanks to IMDb, and this time Wikipedia, for the brief bio. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, uh, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the El Magnifico. and until next time, may God bless you all, so long, and thanks for all the fish, ciao! <laughs>